I like that for President Trump, every time he hires somebody, it's that he gave them their big break in life. It's like uh, out of the charity of his heart, he hired Omarosa because he's such a charitable fellow, President Trump. That's, that's what he does. He's just such a nice guy. OK, but the idea that he's a racist because he called Omarosa a dog is just silly. Here is a mere smattering of the people he has called a dog in the past on Twitter alone. OK, and it's always in the same context. He loves the phrase fired like a dog, which begs the question, how many dogs has he actually fired? Because that's weird. Like, do you fire a dog? Are dogs known for being fired? It's a strange turn of phrase, but the president has said this many, many times. So here is what he said about David Gregory, formerly of NBC. David Gregory got thrown off of TV by NBC, fired like a dog. Now he's on CNN being nasty to me. Not nice, exclamation point. Mitt Romney had his chance to beat a failed president, but he choked like a dog. I don't know what he has against dogs. Like, I'm not a dog person, but he needs to go over to like Puppy Spot or something and really get to know some dogs because he's kind of mean. And he says, little McMiller, I'm now going to teach you a big boy lesson about lawsuits and finance, you ungrateful dog. And then he says about Sloppy Steve Bannon, this is my favorite because I don't like Steve Bannon, he's a jerk. He says, now Sloppy Steve has been dumped like a dog by almost everyone. And then there's Bill Maher, fired like a dog. And then there's Ariana Huffington, she is a dog who wrongfully comments on me. And then there's Reverend Wright and Barack Obama. He says that Reverend Wright was dumped like a dog. And then there's Eric Erickson, who was fired like a dog. And then there's Reverend Wright, who was also, again, dumped like a dog. And then there was Glenn Beck, who was fired like a dog. And then there was David Axelrod, who was a dog. And then there was George Will, who was thrown off ABC like a dog. And then there was Chuck Todd, who was not quite fired like a dog, but Trump thought he was going to be fired like a dog. And there was Brent Bozell, who came to his office begging for money like a dog. And then there was Eric Erickson, again, fired like a dog. And then Mubarak, who was dropped like a dog. There was Ted Cruz, who scapegoated his capable director of communications, fired like a dog. <laughs> and finally, the best one of all is, of course, this. This is a classic of the genre of fired like a dog. I mean, it's, it's a whole genre, right? If, if, if blockbuster video still existed, there would actually be a full section of dog references by President Trump. Be like, fired like a dog one, fired like a dog two, the revenge. Okay, so he tweeted, this is, this is, of course, the best one. This is from October 17th, 2012. Robert Pattinson should not take back Kristen Stewart. She cheated on him like a dog and would do it again. Just watch. He can do much better. So before we jump to he's a racist, we might want to say he's a speciesist. He doesn't like dogs. He's very, very mean to dogs. You thought Mitt Romney was mean to dogs when he put a dog on top of his car and drove around and all that stuff? President Trump, every time he has something bad to say about a person, he likens that person to a dog. So there's that. But I love that the media are treating it. He called him Rosa. Oh, he's a racist because she's a black woman. That's why he calls her a dog. No, he called her a dog because he doesn't like her, and for some reason, he's got this phrase stuck in his head. 